ovu ni isoro nye mari ihe. Ime gene? E mari ihe. Isoro iberi ibe. Ida iberi ibe. When you are following a wise person, you need to be wise so that you will not behave foolishly in the presence of the wise. Are you hearing me? For you to follow a wise man, you must be wise also. We don't put money first. We don't put money first. It is top officials, people that matters in the nation. We pray for them. And they said, do this, do that, do this. Do you know there was a time they called me and said, there was money being given to people. Some in 100,000, some 200,000, some 500,000. That money was given to people in the bank. No, no, nothing like a payback or interest. Amen. Amen. In our work, it's like a chunk in a twenty people again. You go, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. A chunk in a again, twenty people again. You go, a book room for five hundred thousand naira. Are you hearing me? Such opportunity doesn't come to a greedy person. Such an office. And again, you're a greedy person. They give it to people. Only the trustworthy. The king here, he will do exactly. The case is poor. The case is poor. And such opportunity is given to those that is faithful. Like what I said yesterday, I said, "Anywhere in the, anywhere opportunity, Gabiano, I cannot trust them." He said, take care of this opportunity. Or take care of this business. Or take care of this. Because of what? Because of what? Character. Like, let me tell you. I don't have business. My business is human. Are you hearing me? I do business. I don't depend on my business. I depend on human. If you want to survive in this life and you want God to bless you, invest in human. Are you hearing me? Invest in human. Your reward may not come from the person you, you invested on. As you invest in that person, God will reward you. Are you hearing me? He may remember the home. Then Allah lo bigi. Ne wegi to pour blagi. Ne wegi anything in the line ya kuni achigi. Or what you are expecting for that person to give back to you, you do it willingly, and you take off your heart from it. God is coming back to reward you. Are you hearing me? But when you do good to somebody and you are expecting that person to become your servant, you have already received your reward. And your reward might become worth pain. Because man cannot reward you. It is only God. That's why Peter, God asked Simon Peter, do you love me? And he said, yes. And Jesus says, if really you love me, feed my sheep. You cannot love Jesus without feeding his sheep. You must be the keeper, the leader, and the sustainer of the world, the sheep. You must feed the sheep. You don't make the sheep, but you feed the sheep. Are you hearing me? The problem we have is that we don't have patience with God. Amen. Amen. It is not easy to walk with Christ. Sometimes people you help will be the people that will turn around against you. 
it always happens. That's why Jesus said, carry your cross and do what? Follow me. Nobody can stop Ishiyahu except Almighty God doing the work of God. Doing what God wants me to do. Let me tell you, doing the will of God, it is not easy. Nobody has served God that is easy with. God promised Abraham, say, I will give you, your children will be like the, like the sand of the, of the earth. But Abraham stayed for so many years, more than 25 years after the promise, they were not child. But God allowed everything. It was because of Abraham was in a state of confusion. He could not understand God. You cannot understand God. That's why he is the omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscience. You can't understand God. God promised him, yes, and God kept silent. God never failed. He kept silent. And Abraham waited and waited and waited years by. He lost his faith. He lost his focus. Then the wife advised him, please, why don't you take Haggai, my servant? They were at the confused junction. There were no hope for Abraham and Sarah. They thought they had lost it all. I want you to say to your neighbor, the time you spend waiting for Jesus is not enough. Amen. Do not lose hope. Abraham lost hope. He lost hope. And Sarah came into the picture. Remember I told you. I said Satan must always plant somebody around you. At the hour. At the odd what? Hour. At the odd hour. When there is no brother. When there is no sister. When you lost your wisdom. Then. The person which Satan planted will now manifest. He will be the only advisor left for you. And that is the hour of the examination. That is the hour to test your faith. That is the hour to know whom you are. But remember, Jesus will allow you to do your business. And he will be there watching so that your business my fashion word business when sarah advised his husband abraham to get haggai her husband god was there watching but remember abraham was in his confused junction he never asked of god he never required of god he never said god do you want this or not he went ahead. At the time you are on your own. At the time you are on your own. Amen. Amen. And God allowed Abraham to do his business. And Haggai got pregnant. And give birth to a male child. Called Ishmael. And God allowed it. There are things that seem to be answers to you, but they are not answers. Yes, when you go to that point, I pray that you will not get to that point. Because that point is a very dangerous point. That is when man loses his power and authority. When they got, when they begot 
Ishmael, they say, oh, praise God. It is not everything that comes to you that God takes glory on. God, I thank you, you have given me what? Ishmael. As what? As an heir to my throne. Somebody that will inherit me. But it was not. And God was still silent. And God was still watching. And Abraham thought it is all well. There are so many people today, the business you are, you are, are doing, you thought it is the right one. The marriage you are, you thought it is the right marriage. The person you see in your picture, you thought is the right person. A time came. God was ready to respond. And God opens the womb of Sarah and blessed her with a child. The right answer. The right heir to the throne of Abraham. Because it was not right when you are a child of God and God has a business with you. God will not allow you to do what is wrong. Even though when you make the mistake, God is going to rewrite it. That was exact what God did in the life of Abraham. God never accepted Ishmael as a heir to his kingdom. When Sarah gave birth to Isaac and he began to grow up, Remember, the heart of a king belongs to God. And God moved the heart of Sarah. The same Sarah that led to that mistake. And God moved her heart to say, this man, this woman, and his son must not be in this family or share the inheritance of Abraham with my son. Do you know that her guy was he was senior to Isaac. As when you look at it in the physical eyes, he's supposed to be the senior son of Abraham. But right there in the spirit realm, he was not there. The spirit controls the physical. If you must survive or succeed here on earth, if you must run this race perfectly, you must learn how to meditate. How to seek the presence of God. Why we suffer is because we never seek the presence of God. We are on our own. We do this on our own. We never seek the presence of God. So many today, they are in their school. They are studying. Studying what? Nonsense. They are studying wrong things. What God has predicted for them or destined for them is not what they are studying. I asked one of my sons some time ago. I said, what are you studying in school? He said, that is far from what God wants him to do. He's out. When he finished that school, he cannot make anything out of that course that he's studying. It's just wasted time. Amen. 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 We're in dinner, go out for water. Alcohol, I go with him, eat the rehana more. Everybody has what is written on his palm. Not until you are able to discover your purpose here on earth, you cannot make it. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. My purpose is not your purpose. Your purpose is not my purpose. Everyone has his purpose. Even though you are born twins. The, both twins has not the same purpose. Each of them has their own word purpose. Hallelujah. 
Amen. You must learn to wait on the Lord. You must learn to wait who, who, on who? The Lord. On the Lord. So many are in the prison. They are in the prison. The prison of I can do it on my own. The prison of I know it all. The prison of I am very smart. The prison of I can't bow for anyone. Let's see. You need a deliverance. You need what? A deliverance. You need that prison yard or prison gate that is locked up against you to be broken. You need deliverance. Amen. Amen. And when one is in such prison, it's under a curse. Remember, the duty of a curse in one's life is to weaken the person. To weaken you spiritually. It will bring confusion on you for you not to understand. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's see the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 16. Acts of Apostles 16. When the enemy put you in prison, when you are not in Christ, you remain there. But when the enemy put you in the prison and you, you are alive in Christ, the prison gate cannot be locked. There are people that cannot, that no demon can lock them up. No power can lock them up. They are both prisons. My question is this. Are you above prison? If you are above prison, you will know. The spirit of God cannot be in you without you knowing it. You will know. He said, I know my sheep. My sheep knows me. I heard their voice and they heard mine. When the spirit of God is in you, you have an assurance. Surely you will know. Not by pretense. Amen. Let's see verse 25. 25 to 30. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and they singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awakening from sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing the prisoners had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called with a loud voice, saying, Do yourself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light, ran in, and he fell down, trembling before Paul and silence. And he brought them out and he said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to focus on verse 26. Amen. We have been hearing earthquake here and there. Yes. Are you hearing me? Even of recent, there are earthquakes in other parts of the world. Isn't it? Let's assume it was not uh, the prayer of uh, Paul and Salah that caused the earthquake. Let's assume so. Now, let, let's assume I, now I'm a doubting Thomas. It was not a, a Paul and Sarah's uh, prayers and a song that caused the earthquake. 
Amen. Amen. Now, I want to ask a question. Wherever there is an earthquake, all you will see is the earth opening, swallowing people. People will die in masks. They will die. There are so many of recent. Amen. Amen. But the earthquake of Paul and Silas happened. The house was not swallowed by earth. Only the foundation of the house vibrated. Okay, if the foundation of the house vibrated, what business has the vibration with the door? He could not swallow the door. But only the keys that locked, the padlocks that locked the door were all what? First open. I want you to see reason with me. Not only that, in this verse 26, it was recorded that the chains on the prisoners fell down. What does that mean? It simply means that the whole chains broke and it fell off them. I want you to know. I want, you to, I want to remind you something. The chains are iron. Are you hearing me? But it was not recorded that, their, that, that the bones of their hands break at the cause of, of, the, of, the, of the broken of the chains. The, the body, the flesh, the bones, they are all in tight. They couldn't sustain any injury. But it was the chain that fell off from them. What is this chain? Chain of afflictions. Chains of failure. Chains of tribulations. Chains that, that retrieve someone from possessing his possession. Those things we have fell off them. And the prison gate where they were imprisoned, the doors we are not broken, but the key, the keys, the padlocked, we are all broken. At what hour? At midnight. At the time the, the prison, the 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 jailkeeper. Is sleeping. I say as many has jailed you spiritually, that has covered you with spiritual calabash, with spiritual basket, with spiritual chains. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I command them to be asleep. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the mighty earthquake of your deliverance uh. awake them in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The jailkeeper was not in charge anymore. When the earthquake struck, I pray may God struck the, 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 the gatherings of your enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. Wherever they gather to put you into perpetual prison, May that gathering be scattered by an earthquake in Jesus' name. Amen. And when the earthquake strike, the prison keeper was confused. Today, I declare over that man, uh -huh. over that woman, yes, that is in charge, removing and controlling your destiny, yeah. uh, removing and controlling your glory. Uh -huh. Removing and controlling your future. Uh, I say may almighty God convert his wisdom uh, or her wisdom yes. into foolishness. Amen. Amen. Like the prison keeper. Yes. Amen. May them make a costly mistake. Amen. Amen. That will cost them their own life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Whosoever that has kept you in this prison uh -huh. and placed curses upon you. Yeah. I said today, demon of curses, uh, 
demon of curses by the authority in the name of Jesus yes. lose, your lose, your amen. lose your control 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 and lost Woo. battle amen. Amen. in Jesus name amen. Amen. Ah. what was Paul and Silas doing They were not running incantations. They were not energizing charms on people or the, the prison keeper. They only pray and they sing praises unto the Lord. And there was a great power from heaven above. I say, the Bible says, the prisoner heard the voice of whom? Paul and Silas. The prisoners, the prisoners. So today, I declare over as many that is in prison. Ah. As you are under the influence of my voice, Jesus. As you come across this telecast, I declare and I decree. I receive by the authority that is in the name of God of of, of Paul and Silas. As you heard my voice today, may the same earthquake that happened on that great day when the prisoner heard the voice of Paul and Silas, may it happen in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. That the enemy can no longer keep you. Yeah. The enemy can no longer keep you. Yeah. Yeah. Their prison gate can no longer contain you. Yeah. Yeah. When the prisoner, the prison keeper, saw what happened he was about to slay himself and peter shouted upon his voice and said do not hurt yourself for we are here the bible says the prisoner brought them out of prison and gathered them in a place and said what shall i do to be saved remember there we are was a prisoner but that prisoner is the person they are asking now. What shall I do to be saved? Today, by the authority that is invested in me, ah. by Jesus of Nazareth, mm. whatsoever that stands as a prison yard in your father's house, hey. in your father's foundation, mm. in your father's foundation, uh -huh. that foundation that stands as prison yard, hey. that deities of your father's house, that stands as prison yard. That ancestral spirit that stands as the gate, the prison keeper. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I release earthquake on your foundation. Amen. I command the foundation to crash. Amen. Amen. Crash. Amen. Crash. Amen. Crash. Amen. Crash. Amen. Crash. Amen. Crash. foundation uh -huh. that is faulty that has caused you sleepless night yeah. that foundation that has stolen away your joy from you every night you wet your bed with your tears you go down to your bed with sorrows and pain that foundation that sworn that you will never know peace that foundation that says you will not a cell. I say by the authority that is in the word of God. Yes, sir. For the word of God says in the book of Job 28 that I shall pass a decree and the decree of my mouth shall be established. I decree and I declare. Uh. For the word of God says, whatever thing I bind your air shall be bound in heaven. Yes. I bind you, you forty foundation. Uh -huh. Amen. I bind you, you forty foundation. Amen. And demons and altars uh. that is connected to that foundation. <laughs> yes. I bind you and I cast you out. Amen. Amen. No more. Amen. No more shall you rule. Amen. No more shall you rule. Amen. No more shall you continue. Amen. No more shall you afflict them with pain. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 
you believe in Jesus? Yes, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I believe. Look up here. I see the God of fire. And I want you to shout with the God of fire. I am free. I am free. The God that answered by fire is going to answer you. Ishiahu is not the God. Yes. But I am God fire. I carry his fire. What I'm saying is this. Announce your freedom to the four corners of the whole world. To the hearings of all demons and principalities. Remember Paul and Silas they prayed. The prisoner heard his voice. It was what that led to the what? Earthquake. When those that is deaf had it, what about God that has ears? That was what that led to what? The earthquake. There will be an earthquake in your foundation today. Yeah. Yeah. And that foundation shall crash. Yeah. Yeah. And the angels of God will excavate it. Yeah. Yeah. There shall be a new foundation. Yeah. Yeah. For you. Amen. Amen. Foundation Amen. that is tested Amen. and sure. Amen. Foundation Amen. that is laid by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Now, are you ready? Yes, yes, sir. I want us to shout a thunderous I am ready four times. I am ready! I am ready! I am ready! I am ready. God has heard it. Amen. That you are ready to leave that foundation. Amen. That you are ready to be free from that foundation. Amen. Now announce your freedom in thunderous ways four ah. times. I am, I am free. 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 I declare over your freedom. I receive. It is irreversible. Amen. It is irrevocable. Amen. It is sealed with the seven seals Amen. of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. No power can stop you. Amen. Amen. You are unstoppable. Amen. Amen. You are already free. Amen. No power Amen. can hold you captivity again. Amen. Amen. You are free in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know what you are free from? Yes. Poverty. Amen. Yes. Failure. Amen. Disappointment. Amen. Diseases. Amen. Barrenness. Amen. Failure. Amen. Failure. Amen. Weakness. Amen. Weakness. Amen. From causes. Amen. Weakness. Amen. From causes. Amen. Barrenness. Amen. From causes. Amen. Poverty. Amen. From causes. Amen. Sickness. Amen. From causes. Amen. Infirmity. Amen. From Causes. Amen. Delay. Amen. From causes. Amen. Let marriage. Amen. From causes. Amen. Failure in education. Amen. From causes. Amen. Failure in dreams. Amen. From causes. Amen. Failure in career. Amen. From causes. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now we are going to shake up. Whatsoever altar, whatsoever altar that is laid for my sake, that, that is laid for my sake, sake, that connected to second heaven, that connected, connected to second heaven, heaven, that whisper to demons in high places, that, that whisper to demons in high places, places to rise up against me, to rise, to rise up, up against, against me. me. You altar, you, you altar, and the man that laid you, and the man, man that laid you, the man that consults you, the man that consults you, you evil altar, you, you evil altar, altar. altar. you wicked altar of the dark world, you wicked altar of dark world. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, I shake you, I shake you, I shake you, I shake you, I shake your foundation, I shake your foundation, I shake you so hard, I 
shake you so high. I shake you so high. I shake you so high. I uproot you. I uproot you from your taproot. From your taproot. For the word of God say. For the word of God say. Any seed. Any seed that was not planted. That was not planted by my heavenly Father. By my heavenly Father must be uprooted. Must be uprooted. So for that reason. So for that reason. Every altar. Every altar that stand. That stand to empower causes. To empower causes in my life. In my life. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be rooted out. 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 Every altar. Every altar. Every altar. Every altar. Where they conjure. Where they conjure. And run incantations. And run incantations against my life. Against my life. Against my being. Against my being. Against my person. Against my person. Against my family. Against my family. Against my wife. Against my wife. Against my husband. Against my husband. Against my children. Against my children. Today. Today. You altar. You altar. You utter, you utter. I declare fire. I declare fire. I declare fire. I declare fire. Fire of the living God. Fire of the living God. Consume. 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 Yes. Are you here? Yes. Are you here? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Why do you stop praying? Declare fire. Ah, let that altar be consumed. Every altar that was raised against me. Let that altar be consumed by fire. You altar. You altar of badness. You altar of failure. You altar of disappointment. You altar of sickness. You altar of disease. You altar of failure. Of late marriage. Altars of brutal husbands. Altars of brutal wives. Now, I command fire. 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 our money you were given connection you could not wait for the person that gave you the connection you want to overtake the demon hey 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 masukarada as i was praying god said to me my servant pray against this demon He said it's called demon of prank of zero. Demon of prank of what? Zero. Zero. Prank of zero. He said, my son, do you know what it means? I said, no. But I knew that prank is one, like April Fool. Do you understand? Like April Fool. Prank is April Fool, like somebody tricking you. Not you mean it. You don't mean it. You just want to play prank on that person. Like hide and seek. Do you mm. understand? He said that demon is called demon of prank of zero. Amen. Amen. He said that demon will play on you. You will not understand until he bring you to zero. He showed me the demon. He showed me the demon. The demon, they are three. But they are dwarf with tiny leg, tiny hand. Their ribs is out with large head. One is like this, the tallest one. The other one follows. Then the last one. He said, These are very dangerous demons. When one is under a curse, this demon of prank of zero will come up against the person. Omega, you think I hate too much? 
you begin to miss your destiny helpers. You begin to talk anyhow against those that are supposed to help you. Prank of zero. He said he brings one to zero. That's why it's called demon of prank of zero. It is the name in spiritual realm. It's a name in the spiritual realm. Demon of what? Prank of zero. I wrote it. Look for it. Bring out the books here. When I woke up, I, I wrote it down. Choromia on here. Mossy so choromia. And when I come to day, prank of zero. He brings you to zero. He changed in my head. When you are acting your foolishness, you think you are wise. Or rob or he brings you to zero. You can never excel. He said, when the son is after a man, that man can never excel. If all he will, he will be God is what enemy. The demon of Without you knowing it. Oh, go see the demon. Oh, see my son. Look at the demon. Pray over it. Demon of prank of zero. Awesome. Oh, the demon is responsible for poverty. For poverty. Suffering and smiling. The demon has to rob people of their blessing. The leg is very tiny. It's very tiny. The at the at the hands. The head dribble. See when I saw this demon, I know my chief will not talk. I know my chief. I don't forget how it looks like. Demon of rank of zero. That demon had three in number. Had the three. They don't, they don't work different. Had the three. But I host the three. They are the three. They do the same job. I hear it me. Demon of prank of what? Zero. And I want you to prepare it. Not just here. Wherever you are. Every demon of prank of zero. Working in my desk. In my village, in my house, out, working in my future, out. Demon of prank of zero. Demon of prank of zero. Demon of prank of zero. Demon of prank of zero.
Look at how you operate. Your family can come on your way. You don't know bring evil dream. But it is not true. It's a brave friend. Uh, you will see. Maybe God is your it's not there to, to heal you. In your dream, you see the power. You will see the spiritual power to come you. The pastor will be having sex with you in the dream. You have to have it. They come to church, you look at the pastor, say, This pastor is not a good pastor. This pastor is not a good pastor. And the pastor is not about it. The demon of prank of the demon will make you hate people you are not supposed to hate. Now, every misinformation every from this demon, from this demon, prank of the prank of the I stop you. I stop you. You will not come to me. You will not come to me. Zero. From Frank of zero. zero in the name of Jesus. I found out Jesus. There was a time God asked us to pray against this. He said, It's called Level Demon. Level Demon. Ago, about two years ago, about two years ago, we are called, we are called, which is black king of witches, black king of witches. As we every representative from the black king of witches. What happened? The woman outside leave the house and never come back to me. Are you hearing me? So prank of zero is a demon that is after some destiny. He played prank on people, cause enmity between husband and wife, cause problem between father and son, mother and daughter, mother and son. He used their brain and caused them to work against themselves. Whatever project he has in your life, fire. May that project be manifested. May that project be manifested. May that project be manifested. Remember, our fasting is is going to end. On the twelfth, which is how did you say? Huh? You say three days from today. The fasting will be come and end, which is Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Which is fr- tomorrow. Are there? Nice. Nice Friday. Amen. Amen. Today is a day to sow seed. Are you ready to sow seed? I'm not forcing you. The Bible says, whatever you sow is what you will reap. I'm going to tell you what to sow. Come and sow your seed. Ushers. May every yoke in your life be broken. Amen. Chains of afflictions, Amen. diseases, infirmity, failure, Disappointment. Whatever the enemy is using to attack you, let it be broken right now in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall trample upon scorpions and serpents, and nothing by enemy shall hurt you. Amen. As I anoint you, you shall not die. 
Amen. You shall not die. Amen. You shall not die. Amen. Your family shall not die. Amen. Your children shall not die. Amen. Your business shall not die. Amen. Your destiny shall not die. Amen. Your glory will not die. Amen. You shall rule. Amen. You shall reign. Amen. You shall shine. Amen. I promote you Amen. spiritually. Amen. Spiritually. Amen. Physically. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I bless you in the name of God the Father. Amen. May you be fruitful in all seasons. Amen. Whatever you lay your hands, may you be blessed. Amen. Whatever you lay your hands, may you prosper. Amen. I declare. I, I usher you into the season of prosperity. Amen. May you prosper. Amen. May you prosper. Amen. May you prosper. Amen. May your cup overflow. Amen. May the floodgate of heaven be open unto you. Amen. I declare it upon your life. Amen. And I declare it is permanent. Amen. It is irreversible. Amen. It is irrevocable. Amen. It is sealed with seven seals of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Permanent. Amen. I say permanent. Amen. I say permanent. Amen. I say permanent. Amen. I say permanent. Amen. Whosoever that causes you. Hey. The Lord shall cause. Amen. From today, it is well with you. Amen. Every foundation of causes in your life Jesus. has been abolished. Amen. Has been abolished. Amen. Has been abolished. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father.